Our next guest is well known for his work on films like Black Swan and The Wrestler, and now award-winning director, producer, and screenwriter Darren Aronofsky can add author to that list. His new book, Monster Club, is about 11-year-old Eric Doodles King and his family's amusement park, which has been damaged by a hurricane and is at risk of property development. Eric's escape from it all is drawing monsters with his friends, playing the game Monster Club. But what happens when suddenly these monster drawings come to life? The author himself joins us now, Darren Aronofsky. Thank you so much for being here. As I was just sharing with you, I have a son. This is totally up his alley. And, and it seems like the main character, Eric, he grows up in Coney Island, just like you. Yeah. Is there a little bit of, of life imitating art here? Sure. Me, me and my friends had our own monster club when we were kids. Okay. Unfortunately, they never came to life, but our imaginations allowed them to happen. But Coney Island is this incredible neighborhood. This that's the first uh, amusement park in North America in the New World. And so there's a lot of magic in the streets, and I decided to breathe a little magic into the story and have these monsters come to life. And, and talk to me about how, because you've been writing with a, a partner on screenplays, yeah. right, for 20 plus years. Yeah. So what was it like to switch now? This is your debut novel and yeah. actually get into writing for kids. Well, when you make a movie, you have to show everything, right? It has to be in front of the characters. but. What we learn pretty quickly is actually actors, I mean, not actors, but characters can actually think. So if there's a problem, they suddenly, you can get really deep into their emotions. So it allowed us to get deeper into a character's mind for the first time, and that, that was exciting. How would you describe the significance of this journey of kids who have to save the city from the own, they're monsters they've drawn themselves? <laughs> well, it's fun when you have a big imagination how things can explode and get out of control. But the other nice thing about working with a book is that uh, you don't have to worry about budget. When you make That's movies, true. you uh, have to be concerned about blowing up, uh, you know, and th the school that they're in or whatever. But with a, f with, a f with a book, you can really go crazy and let your imagination run wild. What's the underlying message that you'd like for kids to take away from well, this? Well, it kind of captures that moment when you first go to middle school and your sort of new pressures are put on you to like find your classroom and you're suddenly a bit more of an adult and things that you held on to when you were a kid, you're told to like let go. But some of that is your imagination, and this is about trying to hold on to that imagination as we become adults. And, and if I can just switch gears just for a moment, because yeah. you just debuted a new film to several festivals, yeah. The Whale. Yeah. Tell me about The Whale and, and what you're most proud about at that, because maybe I'm wrong, but I think I'm hearing a little Oscar buzz, essentially. <laughs> well, The Whale was, it's a very little movie, uh, but we cast this incredible actor, Brendan Fraser, which many of us remember from back in the day, and I didn't realize how much love and, and and attention there would be because Brendan is just exceptional in the film and people are really excited to come out and see it and December 9th that one comes out for the into the theaters very exciting so you got one foot in the movie realm, <laughs> the children's book author yeah. congratulations thank to you, you Darren thank, thank you, you so much again for your time and to our viewers his new book monster club is now available wherever books are sold Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.